Hello, happy crafters. Happy Wednesday. I am coming on today to participate in the hashtag Artisan Journal Prompt 2024. And this is week 29. And it is hosted by my sweet, sweet, sweet friend Patty at Life with Patty. And guys, the prompts. Oh no. So. First of all, I decided to get a new book because I want to keep my books and be able to go back and look at them. And um, the other one was just getting way too chunky for me, even with the rings. So if this one gets chunky, then I'll go ahead and take these out and have my man put some rings in for them. I didn't, didn't do the cover. I just put some paper on it and um, just so that you wouldn't be looking because it's black. So... And, of course, it has elephants on it. So, the prompts were sponge, toothbrush, and toothpicks. I, like, I was like, okay. I kind of got excited because it's something <laughs> I would never do. And I'm like, okay, I'll take the challenge, Patty. And I really had fun. I really did. This was not frustrating at all to me. Once I figured out what I was going to do, I just went with it. So let me show you my page. I don't know if you can see it. The light is a little um, dim. So what I did was I sponged the background with my, let's see, which distress socks did I use? My squeezed lemonade, I distressed the background with a sponge and squeezed lemonade. And then I took my um, toothbrush and I got it wet and I um, used the broken china. And you can see there's swirls from the toothbrush, which was really kind of cool. <laughs> now this is not something, guys, that I would normally do. It definitely is not. And, you know, that's the thing about um, Patty's challenge is it's to challenge yourself. It's not for Patty. It's for us to challenge ourselves in our crafting and to just, you know, go with it. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. And then I took a stencil. This stencil came from my purple. And I love this stencil. It's a Gina K. And it has three different stencils in it so I just put the stencil down and sponge on with my another sponge my um, flamingo and then for the last part for the toothpick I took some what did I use oh I have it over here some glitter glue I think this was from scrapbook.com. I'm not sure. I made a big pile of it and then just took my toothpick and went inside the flowers. Not really caring. It didn't have to be anything all that. And then I was like, oh, I have extra. So I just kind of took the toothpick and went here and there and, and everywhere. <laughs> and then... Then I found this in one of my Tim Holtz books, and it says sometimes you have to take chances. Well, this was a chance that I took, <laughs> and like I said, this isn't anything I would normally do, but I had a blast. There's something about sponging and using the toothbrush that I really got a kick out of. So, please go... Um, Check out Patty at, at uh, Life with Patty, and I'll link her channel in the description box below. And you guys follow the hashtag because I've seen two people already, and it's amazing what they did. Uh, theirs was not like mine, but I don't care because it's mine, and I had fun. So, you know what I'm going to say. I love you guys. I always thank you for your sweet support and kind comments. And I'm going to end this with big hugs and moochies. La ya. Bye.